because at some time it will be very useful. One page notes is very useful. Okay? So please make use of it. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. Now I call upon our guest, Mr. Navin Dhanwan, sir, to share his knowledge on communication skills, body language and how to be facing the interviews. Yes. Shall we start the program? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, now here. <laughs> Shall we start the program? Yes, yes sir. Good. Shall we start the program? Yes, yes sir. Okay, so almost same voice is coming. That means we all have a good break breakfast. Now all together. All together. All together. Yes, sir. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sir. For that also some okay is coming. <laughs> All right. All together. Shall we start the program? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. So, my dear students, I think you might have all seen Charlie Chaplin. Yes, sir. Mr. B. Yes, sir. Right? Please tell me, they don't talk, but we understand whatever message they are going to convey. How do you understand? Action. Expression. Doing, right? Expression, sir. Body language. Right. So that means body language plays very important and vital role. So before understanding the body language, let's understand why is it important to know about the body language. Because I know that you are all technical students. If I ask you to remove a fan of the AC, you people can remove it. Again, you can refix it uh, with a very span, you know, with a less time of time. But, you know, practically, practically speaking, whenever we conduct lots of training programs like this, you students are very good in technical field. But it, when it comes to the confidence building and then facing the interview, we can see, you know, uh, most of the students are lacking in this area. And today, if you are really going to understand and you are going to take a treasure and pleasure from this training program, 
if you focus carefully. So my dear students, today's word is running on, not on the basis of your education and the certificate. The today's word is running or it's going on on the basis of skill. And today you are going to understand how important is the skill in your life to develop your personality or you can grow in your life very uh, fast. So skill. So what is that skill? If you want to develop that skill, first you should have the will. The person who has a will, only he can develop a skill. It is not necessary that it is not only the marks are sufficient to get a good job. There are many people. They don't have a certificate. They are not. They have not PhDs. They have not done many uh, graduations. But they have a skill. Let's take a practical example of Bill Gates. Bill Gates is a graduation dropout, but he has a skill. Sachin Ramesh Tendulkar, SSLC fail, eight standard fail, but he has certain skill, created a history, and he is one of the uh, god of cricket. Jack Ma is one of the richest person in China. Just graduation, but having a great skill. Narendra Modi, BA, he has not passed in the first class, not in the second class, he has just passed. But what he has, he has a skill my dear students. By applying a skill <coughs> in your life, you can develop your personality, you can develop your career, and also you can have very good relationship with your family members and with the society. And this is how the skill which is going to help us. So now what is that skill? So the initially we have seen somebody said the body language. So let's understand something about the body language. So before that I have a small activity. If you are ready with that, we will start the activity and then we will talk about the body language. You all ready? Yes, okay. yes sir. Now I am going to say one, two and three. The moment you hear three, you have to calculate this. You all ready? Yes, Keep your hands, hands like this. Hands are kind of busy, sir. Keep your hands like this. Everyone, everyone. Throw, throw. Throw, throw. Okay. Ready? One. Hands like this. Okay. Somebody is doing like this. Give me any gift. Give me any gift. Many students have lost their job or 
some major opportunities because of this skill. Marx is there in a Marx shape. He has, he is a very good student, but not conducting himself or maybe uh, not taking care of their, his attitude or maybe the body language. Most of the students have failed, the, failed in their um, interview. So let's understand something about the body language. So in case whenever you are facing the interview, first thing which you need to understand is that your eye contact. So whenever you are facing any interview, you need to maintain your eye contact. Especially in a first round, you will be having one to one. So maybe it is very easy for you to maintain the eye contact one to one. Sometimes you will be having the uh, panel interview. Panel interview means maybe two or three interviews will be there and one candidate. When somebody is asking you the question, so you need to maintain your eye contact with all the three people. And then sometimes you will be having a jury, group discussion. So in a group discussion, you will be maintaining your eye contact with everyone. So what is that eye contact? That shows that you are respecting that man. So whenever you are not maintaining your eye contact, that means you may not be having a confidence or the other person feels that you are not much respecting them. So this shows the respect and your confidence. And next, let's discuss something about something or more about the body. And you are head movement. So whatever I am discussing here, maybe after some time, we will try to implement it. We will try to apply it. It is not kind of the theory and uh, we will wind up up to one hour. So we are going to have some mock interviews here. So how is your head movement? Your head movement, it should be the straight again. The person who carry his head movement straight, that shows that he is the man of the Congress. You can observe some of the people, when people tell lies, or when somebody is hiding something, they will not maintain their eye contact directly. Or when somebody is not having a much confidence, they automatically, their head level goes down. So that shows that man is not having the confidence. So my dear students, you are going to win the heart of interview. So these are all the skills. The initially I said that you are going to learn many things here and you are by applying all these skills you are going to develop a great personality what is an interview in an interview they are going to check your your attitude and your confidence level you should have confidence but you should not have the overconfidence so you will show your confidence level not only in your words, not only in your voice, but in your personality. It shows what kind of person you are. Whether you have a confidence, whether you are telling lies sometimes. So telling lies over a phone is easy. But telling lies in front of a person, it's very much difficult. And my dear student, sometimes you are all the technical students. I might give you some project. You will do uh, many projects and they may ask you to present. That is your presentation skills. So the way you stand and the way you express yourself, that matters a lot. Okay? Whenever you are expressing something, so you need to use your hands very much politely. And most of them, they use the finger, the index finger, when they are pointing something. So uh, uh, most of the time people will use this kind of, you know, the uh, hand movement. So this is shows that kind of dominant and this kind of, your open palm shows that you are an honest student, honest person. So try to use your 
hands as much as possible and sometimes in sometimes in uh, some of the good mnc companies they will give you a topic to present maybe one one minutes or two minutes whatever it is so if you get a space over there you need to use the space as well so this is how the skill will help you to win somebody's heart and sometimes uh when you are facing the interview they will offer their hands to sh shake the hand so again we we require certain skills all right so now we will have the shake hand we will see how to shake the hand i want one or two students on stage please <laughs> Okay. Good. What's your name? Okay. So we have Bizim. a round of applause to the Haider. Okay. So whenever we call students, Pavan. please maintain the first rule, the rule which I told you, the condition. Uh, whenever we call students on stage, the neighbor will tell. Go, man. Don't. He will not come. Okay. Now, Haider also. I don't know. I have not observed him, but somebody pushed him. Okay. So anyway, the person who comes this side, he will bring his personality and the confidence. The person will push like this. Go, go. Tum jao, tum jao. Ye aayega wo wahai bate. So that should not happen. Okay. So this is also one of the skill. All right. So I want. One more student. Cameraman. Oh, he just went. Just moved to there. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, students, if you want caps next time, you should come here. वहाँ बैठ के सिर्फ तालियां बनाने से कुछ नहीं होगा, बजाने से, right? So, so you have to. Somebody wants to appreciate you, you should use this case. Okay, so what's the name? Rohit, Haider, Tab. Okay, now Rohit is going to shake his hand. He is going to offer hand. We will see what is. Rohit, you are going to shake hand. So we will see what is the right way of shaking hand. Can you all see? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. So Rohit, what you did? Good morning. I am one. <laughs> so I got pen here. <laughs> ah, okay. Give. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so we will see what kind of shake hand is this. At present, uh, I am understanding that this is a gym handshake. Gym handshake. Gym handshake. Matto, coding shake, sir. Yeah, coding. Incorrect. Incorrect. It's too high. Right way. Okay. So we said shake and break. That means we have to shake. So either is not shaking. Shake, bro. So we should go tightly. Okay. Good, good. So we will see. Students, this happens. This happens in the interview. They will offer their hand and we have to learn how to shake the hand. Usman, Jara. Usman. Hey, come on, hold up.
Now we are going to understand the right way of shaking the hand. Please come. So these are all research one. Okay. So body language says whenever you are shaking the hand, you will hold person's hand very firmly. Okay. And uh, we should not hold very tightly. Okay. Tight handshake. We should not do that. And then, and then your finger should lock here. After that, you will be maintaining your eye contact. And then, <laughs> eye contact. And then, you will carry a positive. That is uh, the original smile. Original smile. Original smile. How many times you are going to shake the hand? One time. Maximum two, three, five. As your wish. Okay. okay. So as per students, as per the body language rule maximum three times and not more than three times once okay twice is also okay thrice is also okay uh, uh, three times that's fine but do not count one two three hey, okay, no, no. don't count them. and there is one more rule you need to maintain distance at least one arm, okay? With one arm distance, we feel comfortable. But that doesn't mean that uh, when Navin sir came to our college, he said that we have to take a measurement. Uh, one, one arm, uh, okay, now you can shake the hand. Don't take the measurement. So this is what we call the maintaining the distance. So thank you very much. All the four students, please give them a big round of applause. <laughs> okay. Settle down. May you to pop it further. So now, uh, as of now, maintaining eye contact and then the head movement, hand movement, and uh, shaking the hand, we have learned. There are students. You should be a polite, but you don't need to show that you are showing over polite. Okay. So again, some students have this, you know, this type. Okay. And then some of the students in front of interviewer, they have this Rajnikanth type. Okay. And then I have seen some of the students when they they are sitting on the chair. Most of them, the moment they sit on the chair, their legs start shaking. I don't know what is the magic or music, right? They start magic. shaking. So magic. please avoid shaking the legs the moment you sit on the chair. So this is very, very unprofessional. So students, in one hour, how much is possible I have given you some of the tips about uh, the body language. Now, whatever you have learned, we are going to implement. So I have some of the facing the interview slides and uh, we will try to implement all these you know, the skills. So before that, let's understand something about uh, communication skills. So what is the communication skills? Anybody has any answer? What is communication skills? Subject, sir. Subject, sir. Communication skills. How to get confident. Yes. Yeah, let's have an interaction session. Please, somebody said. Talking confidently. Speaking confidently. Okay, what else? Speaking to a person. Speaking to a person. What else? Subject, sir. 
Uh, I am not going to give any definition which is there in the textbook or maybe in the Google. So it's a practical session and I want everyone to understand what is communication practically. Somebody said confidence, somebody said uh, speaking with someone. Let's understand these two skills. Speaking with someone, how you are communicating. Everybody communicate. What you communicate is not much important, but how you communicate is very much important. Students, when you face the interview, you may not be knowing the entire answer of that particular question, but you may be having little idea about that. So how to present that idea where exactly your communication lies. There are many students score very high marks but not opportunities. But there are students they score very less marks but they have opportunities. For example, somebody said again the confidence. So one live example I would like to give you. Very recently one of my, one of my friend was conducting an interview in one of the MNC company. Graduation student like you. The first question was like this, maybe after the uh, first round of interview. Where would you like to see yourself five years down the line? The girl answered very much confidently that I would like to see myself in the position of CEO. Uh, that's different whether she will reach that position or not position. But sometimes your confidence plays very much important role. So as I said, I am going to share all the practical ones. I am not from somebody I read or something is there in a book. That is not going to work out. Because life is 80% practical and only what 20% is your theory. So very recently, I was conducting an interview in one of the college and uh, it was uh, uh, the English department. One of the um, student he has done is BCom. Usually after doing the BCom, they will go for the MA English. Uh, sorry, not MA English. After BCom, they go for the MCom or MBA. So that person has done MA English. And he came to interview and I asked him a question. Usually after BCom people will choose finance field, MBA, MCom. Why have you chosen MA English? His answer was very straight, very straight. He said, sir, when I was doing a BCom, my goal was set by my brother. When I was doing my MA English, that goal was set by me and I like to teach, I enjoy teaching and teaching is my passion. So that confidence and that, you know, the positive attitude is sufficient for us and immediately that kind of got So in your interview, genuine, your, your real goal plays a important role. It is not like we are reading somewhere and we are just biting something and we are attending the So confidence and your positive attitude plays a very important and vital role. So I was reading something in the newspaper very long time back in one of the organization. They call interview uh, for uh, students. So there are many students, they stood in a queue and many of them have not selected. And uh, one of the boy, so he went inside. They asked him very one or two questions and they selected. The boy has got shocked. He asked, sir, you have asked me only one or two questions. And I know that you have rejected many students. What is the secret of that? The person who conducted the interview, he said that when you are entering a gate, 